Hello. Let's see what we have for messages for today. April 11th, 2023. <sighs> Can't take a big breath in for spring. We begin this feeling of earth bursting. Prince of Cups. <laughs> so, obviously, there's a lot of arousal, sexuality, romance, excitement at this time. Prince of Cups bringing in some raw human emotion social activities, romance, excitement, travel, desires and wishes, all the good things, right? One day my prince will come, well, this is the prince you want, right? He has your charm, he knows that it's his greatest asset, his most powerful weapon. With it, he uses it against adversaries, converts people to his way of thinking, moves through life with grace. He knows how to tap into people's emotion. His focus is on emotion and the creativity that flows from emotion. Emotion, energy, and motion. Energy in motion. What energy in your body is moving? what emotions are coming out of your body. <clears throat> Prince of Cups. You know, he's warm-hearted, he's charming. Big, bright smile. Communicative, everyone loves him. Generally popular because who wouldn't like that energy around them? <clears throat> but sometimes he's caught up in his own head. He seems evasive or self-contained, you know, kind of uh, cut off. There's a lot going on in his head. Um, if you annoy him, you know, he's not the type that will tell you off and tell you exactly, you know, what hurt him and blah, blah, blah. He'll just simply tune you out. <clears throat> but this is a good new experience that's going to move into your life. It's going to buoy your spirit. You know, maybe your spirits have been low and it's been a dark winter. But, um... This bright energy, this charming man, he's going to lift your spirits and kind of make your heart pump a little bit faster and make it grow a little bit bigger. It's going to stir the compassion in you that's been so dormant. Um, maybe he changes your belief on what's possible, you know, like new love does that. It's like, oh, there are good people out there sometimes, you know, when you meet a good person or a good connection, it's so it's such a refreshing feeling. Um, It symbolizes this, you know, just a path to your heart, you know, maybe finding a way back to your heart. Um, you know, you've been tense, maybe feeling a little lonely, maybe you cut yourself off on purpose, you've been in hermit mode. Um, but, you know, people like this that come into your life, man or woman, you know, this could be for, um, but they're going to ease your emotions and you'll find a balance and equilibrium in your emotions that will um, will really set your life back on track. Um, <clears throat> when you use your intuition, you know, that's highly connected to emotion, right? Your work conditions are also going to improve. Like, your health is going to improve. Everything else around you, love, health, finance, everything around you improves when you're tapped into your intuition. But this is different from, you know, showing too much emotion. A lot of people look down on emotions because some people have a lot of them and they don't know how to control them or express them in an effective way. Sometimes it seems erratic or out of control or just bursts out of nowhere, right? But um, it's not about 
not feeling your emotions. You feel it a thousand percent. It's how you express it and dictate and use your words carefully, right? Otherwise, your emotions can be turned against you by a lot of people. So don't be excessive in your display of emotions. You know, feel all of the things. Feel all the body, you know, the cues that your body is really giving you. You know, listen to it, evaluate them, come to conclusions internally. And then in an outward fashion, you can find the words to express yourself in a tact way, right? Um, it takes practice. But I'm telling you, the Prince of Cups, uh, this is the romance department, all right? You might travel with your significant other at this time. Um, and, you know, traveling will bring, obviously, you closer together or farther apart. But this is not a farther apart card. This is, you're going to get closer. You know, the more activities that you share together, the more life that you, you know, coexist with, you know, together. You see the world together, shoulder to shoulder, you know, looking outwards as a team. On the same wavelength. <clears throat> If you're not involved with anyone, you know, this is this is a new a new sweeping romance that comes in out of nowhere. It's, it's literally gonna light up your life. Um, <clears throat> maybe you start experiencing a little bit more increase in um, attention from the opposite sex at this time. It's spring, you know, everyone kind of gets a little bit more frisky in the spring. Animals, everything is bursting with energy, including humans. Um, so you might get a little bit more um, flirtations. Might be a romantic interlude, some might say. Um, <clears throat> you just might meet someone new that really is going to um, make your heart beat. And maybe you meet them through classes, workshops, traveling. But, um, you know, you're going to experience an improvement. If your finances, if you feel lucky, play the numbers with the lottery, you know. Um, now's the time to follow your parents' advice, though, you know, like, don't be too crazy with your emotions, don't be too crazy with your finances, even if you're celebrating life at this time and you're on an upward, you know, um, trajectory, you know, life goes in ups, ups and downs, ups and downs, there's a million of them. If you're going up right now and you're excited and you're enjoying your life and the outcomes that are happening, don't be excessive, you know, still save some money, you know, um, save for a rainy day. But this uh, new love is really going to improve your health as well. You know, like mind and body are so connected. So when you are in this state of contentment or happiness, excitement, all the good feelings, all the good feels, your body reacts the same way. You know, if you wake up grateful, your body is going to be grateful. It's going to feel like you have things to be grateful for, right? If you're coming from a sense of not having what you want, your body's going to feel like it's depleted. So what you feed your brain and what you tell yourself, you know, the affirmations and everything, it really is more effective than people give it credit for. You know, you are the consciousness behind your brain, right? You are the awareness behind your thoughts. Your thoughts are just there. Your brain is doing what it needs to do. It's working out problems. It's defragging. It's finding uh, possible uh, risks or, you know, remembering things that hurt you so you don't do it again. It's there for a reason. It's your security guard, but you are the CEO to your company, right? You are the awareness behind your soul. Your soul is the awareness behind your body and your thoughts. So you are driving the car. <laughs> you know, um, if uh, you had a Lamborghini and it runs on gas, right? Would you put potato, you know, um, oil? in it, you know, you know, and expect it to run, you know, like you have to feed your thoughts correctly, which feed your body correctly. Um, and all of this is connected. So when you're in a good state for yourself, you'll be able to give to other people. So when this Prince of Cups or Princess of the Cups comes in, you're going to be vibing on such a high level because you're already feeding yourself love. You have more to give then, right? It's going to attract love and you're going to be able to give more love to other people because you have the capacity and the space to at that time. 
you know, fixated on things that you don't have. You appreciate the things that you do have every single day. And this is how you attract a new love affair. You know? Um, there might be some physical activity around water. You know, and that's where you find the romance, the romantic connection around the water. But uh, if you're unsure, you know, just ask for a healing dream and the results will uh, astonish you sometimes. Uh, your dreams tell you a lot. Um, but open your heart, right? This is what this card is saying to me because there's love coming your way and you want to be closed off. You want to have it open, happy, and vibrating and radiating out this beautiful light, right? So be alert for the synchronicities. Keep your dreams, you know, um, you know, in your head of what you want to see in your life in the future, how you want to feel, you know, stay open with an open mind, you know, and maybe you'll enjoy love again, some, some spring love, right? It's the best time for new love in the spring, just bubbling with energy and everything. So, you know, it's all about emotions, love, keeping your heart open, loving yourself first, and then understanding how you create the things around you by how you internally handle yourself. So with this I say, good day.